last slide just to show you um, uh, what, what we have done on the speed level. Um, couple, uh, two years ago, we did a, a very important benchmark because of an RFP, and we used our test environment. That is very important to understand this picture. The test environment is a, was a Dell Vertex mini blade center. It's about four blades inside of a box, and the price tag is around 50,000 US dollars. So we used this as a reference hardware to test our environment. So we, we, we installed all the uh, REN software. It was running on Linux in this environment. And we were able, with 25% of the load of this environment, uh, to do 4,500 transactions. And what does that mean? I'm talking about full logical transactions. Unlike competitors, they are, they are counting a message as a transaction. I'm talking about full-blown transactions. So, for example, request and response. Or sometimes you will have more complex uh, transactions like a mobile top-up where you get one request, but then on the back end it's a multi-leg transaction and you send it to multiple recipients, let's say MasterCard and the mobile operator, and then you come back. So we took, this was part of the test, we took a realistic mix of different transactions, also including reversals and more complicated things like extended pre-authorizations and ran this test. So this is all about full-blown transactions. So with 50%, we did 8,000 transactions per second. With 75, we did 12,000. And the exciting thing about this graph is I think most of you would have expected it to flatten, but it's linear. It's linear growth, which is, uh, uh, at least made us very excited. And uh, later on in the test, we, we ran 12,000 transactions per second for three hours. We also did 15,000 transactions per second, which consumed all the CPU power of this environment, and did this for 10 minutes just more as a burst check. Then the, 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 the test was over, and we thought, okay, let's, let's give it a try. Until now, we have used one hardware, and we were able to really scale out uh, easily in a linear fashion. Let's, let's drive it to the maximum. We did not have additional test hardware, so we used a couple of desktop machines. And what we did in this exercise was that with every, we did, we did it with three additional desktop machines. With every single desktop machine, we were able, this was really like this laptop, not, not, not more powerful than this laptop, we were able to add 1,000 transactions per second. So we ended up at 18,000 transactions per second, which was really pretty, pretty awesome.